Many people remember the date, February 13, 1943, the day the small town of 500 people changed forever. The American Army was in Dawson Creek working on the Alaska Highway. At that time, the old town was surrounded by makeshift barracks and storage warehouses, and a barn in the center of the commercial block held 200 cases of percussion caps and a truckload of dynamite. Somehow, a fire started and the inevitable explosion followed soon after, obliterating everything in its vicinity, knocking down nearby witnesses. The blast eventually claimed five lives. The fire spread rapidly and eventually only one building remained standing, the co-op store. The tragedy left the people in Dawson Creek shell-shocked. Now, on its 75th anniversary, nine artists came together and created a wall of artwork inside the k pac Center. The scene right there is the location of the Dawson Hotel, and apparently it was a Dawson Hotel before it even burnt down, and then it was rebuilt. So I thought that would be interesting to paint. Kay Hartnell's father was in town the day of the explosion and fire. Fortunately, he was not killed, and her painting, Morning After, is in dedication of her father and the people who lost their lives. My dad was in the explosion at the time it happened, back in 1943. Uh, he was in town that day, and he actually got blown up a little bit and landed up under a truck. Justine Bouchard painted Kerfuffle. It's meant to depict the sadness and devastation in the aftermath of the explosion. It looked like they were sad and like just trying to like get things back together after the like initial kerfuffle. Paige Fortier decided to honor the explosion by painting Fire in the Night. She was inspired when a fellow artist showed her artwork off. The piece evoked an emotion that I investigated the archives myself and found a really striking image that spoke to me, so I wanted to participate as well. The artwork will remain up at the K-Pack Center until the end of the month. Eric Tashner, CJDC TV News, Dawson Creek.